Today on Food Quest, the guys head to Fireside by the Patio where Chris plays games with Chef Michael, Marcus reviews their beer and brats, and as always, food, 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 and dessert. Okay, wait, so that's how you met Obama. And that's how I met Obama. Yeah. That's insane. Yep. So why are we here in Liberty Station? Home of Moniker General, where we edit Food Quest. And also we have Westbeam. Right, and the stuffed episode, the burgers. Yeah. Oh my god, I love stuffed. So now today, the patio group hooked us up. Man, we're at Fireside, which is not just a clever name. It used to be a firehouse back in the day. Chef Michael's in there right now, preparing some amazing meals for me, so. For, for us. Uh, well, you're the director, and we can't do this without you, man. But I'm the host, so you do your thing. And I'll do mine, okay? Good, good. I mean, good plan. Why, does he, why does he always bring me in if he doesn't let me eat? There he is, Chef Michael. Hey, hey, how are you? Good, man, great. Oh, I interrupted you, what do we got here? We're just grilling some tri-tip for our chalkboard menu tonight. So, forgive me, I'm from Jersey, I'm not familiar with the tri-tip cut. Tri-tip's kind of uh, California's grilling meat. It's yeah. huge in the, the West Coast, started in Central California, now it's kind of worked its way down. Yeah, but, but every, every cow has that part, so. Correct, mm -hmm. so they should be very popular everywhere. It's, it's a great, inexpensive cut of meat that grills perfectly. We sell usually three or four items on the menu that we sell by the half pound or by the piece. Um, it could be anywhere from chipotle rub tri-tip or espresso rub brisket. Espresso rub brisket. Yep. So we, yeah, uh, that's my style. Uh, we usually rub them, try to like two or three days in advance and let them air dry in the walk-in so that it gets kind of uh, flavored into the beet more and then we'll grill it over our red oak, uh, which everything here, fireside is pretty much wood fired or smoked. All right, well, let's do it. Yeah. All right, lunch is on you. All right, deal. So what we have here is our grilled uh, octopus. It's grilled in achiote spice, served with little anazazi beans, avocado puree, and then burnt ash and lime oil. We get the beans from a local farmer in Valley Center. The octopus is grilled over our red oak. Fresh beans come in pods when they're in season, so we burn all the pods and then make an ash out of them and mix them with a little bit of lime oil. Nice. Another option that we have is our mussel dish. They're yeah. PI mussels. We cook them in a little bit of beer and a smoked pork belly. Ooh. Smoked pork bellies in the smokers for four or five hours and then shred them and then pick it up with a little bit of the pork belly, the pork belly fat, uh, papped blue ribbon actually. Sure, sure. Uh, America's finest. Um, stewed peppers, onions, and then garlic, butter, and then some fresh scallions on top. The flavors, yes. I can't pinpoint it. It's the smokiness and then we actually have a little bit of, we smoke tomatoes and puree them so it makes a little smoked tomato puree and mix it in with the beer, which gives it that orange, nice, smoky, there it is. yep, smoky flavor. It's a color. concert in my mouth. There you go. The drums and the guitar and the lead singer. The lead singer's all right. I like his last band. <laughs> it was amazing. Okay, guys, so while Chris and Chef Michael are over there playing games, I'm here to do a real food review. I'm here to do the beers and brats. On Thursdays, you can come in and get $16 for a beer and a brat. And it's amazing because they make their own brats here, and they pair it with a local beer. Hey man, so I've got the beers and brats, so what kind of a beer would you recommend? Yeah, for that? sure. So uh, we have a black lager on special. It's a German beer. It's called a Schwartz beer, and it goes great with the bratwurst. Is that going to be all right for you? Cool. Let me finish this old fashioned, then I got you, all right? Pork chop dinner. Gotcha. So what we have here is our bone-in pork chop, served on top of whipped potatoes, charred broccolini, a little bit of mustard butter, and then candied onions. Um, what we do with the pork chops is we brine them for 24 hours, and then we marinate them in olive oil, brown sugar, thyme, and orange juice, and then cooked over the wood fire grill. It, it's near perfect. I bet it tastes as good as it looks, right? Let's find out. Well, for science, I think we ought to. <laughs> Thank 
you, my kind sir. Woo. I can confirm that it does in fact taste as good as it looks. Excellent. Science. So another option that we have is the half pound meats that we serve on our chalkboard. This is chipotle rib tri-tip. We offer three different servings, sometimes four on the chalkboard every single night. We serve it by the half pound or by the each, depending on what the item is. This, like I said, is our tri-tip, served with our uh, smoked potato salad, and then just a little side of barbecue sauce, which everyone loves. All right, guys, I got my beer, I got my brat. Now let's hit the fixin' bar. All right, so what they do here at Fireside on Thursdays is they lay out all the condiments and you can kind of just come up here and get what you want. So, what do I want? I want a little bit of a whole grain mustard. Look at that. Look at all the grain inside this mustard. What else do I like? I like sauerkraut, heck yeah. Because German bratwurst sauerkraut. Sport pepper relish. All right, pepperonis. Okay, so it's all fixed up. Time to sit down and enjoy it. All right, um, guys, welcome to the Food Quest. I'm your, I'm your host, Marcus Anderson, and uh, co-host uh, Chris. You know, we did this together. We did this together, but all right, I'm fine with this. No, I don't need, I don't need tri-tip. I don't need octopus. It's fine. It's just me and my bratwurst. I'm doing it. Love it, man. I had the best swear. time with you. I know. Good time. Uh, Marcus, you good over there? Isn't it weird when people play themselves? Yeah. Winning is hungry work. I know. Well, I wouldn't know, actually, unfortunately. It's all right. I mean, so I feel like, um, is it snack time? Is it snack dessert time? Desserts. So we're running, uh, Buttermilk panna cotta right oh, speak of the devil. What? This is our buttermilk panna cotta. Fresh raspberries, wild raspberry, white balsamic, and then served with a couple gingerbread cookies. Take it to the face. <laughs> In the face. <laughs> gingerbread, tastes like fall. Winning. <laughs> oh, that's a rapid fire side, chef. That was amazing. Well, thank you very much for coming. I appreciate you it. You got, uh, you got everything you need? Oh, yeah. Um... No, I'm good. I got everything. All right. All right. Thanks, brother. Have a good one. I will month. be back. Yeah, Thank you very much, good. man. Thank you. That's a wrap on another delicious episode of Food Quest. Want to see more? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Food Quest to catch new episodes every week. Stay classy, San Diego. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah.